Shemuel Rishon 1 Samuel 12 And Shemuel said unto all Yashareel, Behold, I have hearkened unto your voice in all that ye said unto me, and have made a king over you. And now, behold, the king walks before you, and I am old and gray-headed, and behold, my sons are with you. And I have walked before you from my childhood unto this day. Behold, here I am. Witness against me before Yahuwah and before his anointed. Whose ox have I taken? Or whose ass have I taken? Or whom eth have I defrauded? Or whom eth have I oppressed? Or of whose hand, rather, or of whose hand have I received any bribe to blind my eyes therewith? And I will restore it to you. And they said, You have not defrauded us, nor oppressed us, neither have you taken aught of any man's hand. And he said unto them, Yahuwah is witness against you, and his anointed is witness this day that ye have not found aught in my hand? And they answered, He is witness. And Shemuel said unto the people, It is Yahuwah that advanced eth Moshe, and eth Aharon, and that brought eth your fathers up out of the land of Mitzrayim. Now therefore stand still, that I may reason with you before Yahuwah, eth of all the righteous acts of Yahuwah, which he did to you and to your fathers. When Yaakov was come into Mitzrayim, and your fathers cried unto El Yahuwah, then Yahuwah sent eth Moshe and eth Aharan, which brought forth eth your fathers, out of Mitzrayim, and made them dwell in this place. And when they forgot at Yahuwah Eloheihem, he sold them into the hand of Sisera, captain of the hosts of Chatzor, and into the hand of the Pelashitim, and into the hand of the king of Moab. And they fought against them. And they cried unto El Yahuwah and said, We have sinned because we have forsaken Eth Yahuwah and have served Eth Baalim and Eth Ashtaroth. But now deliver us out of the hand of our enemies and we will serve you. And Yahuwah sent Eth Yerobabaal and Eth Bidan and eth, rather, eth Yiftach, and eth Shemuel, and delivered you out of the hand of your enemies on every side, and ye dwelled safe. And when ye saw that Nehash, the king of the children of Ammon, came against you, ye said unto me, Nay, but a king shall reign over us, when Yahuwah Elohechem was your king. Now therefore, behold, the king whom ye have chosen, and whom ye have desired. And behold, Yahuwah has set a king over you. If ye will fear Eth Yahuwah, and serve him, and obey his voice, and not rebel against Eth, the commandment of Yahuwah, then shall both ye and also the king that reigns over you continue following Yahuwah Eloheikem. But if ye will not obey the voice of Yahuwah, but rebel against Eth, the commandment of Yahuwah, then shall the hand of Yahuwah be against you, as it was against your fathers. Now therefore stand and see at this great thing, 
which Yahuwah will do before your eyes. Is it not wheat harvest today? I will call unto El Yahuwah, and he shall send thunder and rain, that ye may perceive and see that your wickedness is great, which ye have done in the sight of Yahuwah, in asking you a king. So Shemuel called unto El Yahuwah, and Yahuwah sent thunder and rain that day. And all the people greatly feared Ath Yahuwah and Ath Shemuel. And all the people said unto El Shemuel, Pray for your servants unto El Yahuwah Eloheka, that we die not. For we have added unto all our sins this evil, to ask us a king. And Shemuel said unto the people, Fear not, ye have done Ath all this wickedness, Yet turn not aside from following Yahuwah, but serve at Yahuwah with all your heart. And turn ye not aside, for then should ye go after vain things, which cannot profit nor deliver, for they are vain. For Yahuwah will not forsake his eth people for his great name's sake, because it has pleased Yahuwah to make you his people. Moreover, as for me, far be it that I should sin against Yahuwah in ceasing to pray for you, but I will teach you the good and the right way. Only fear at Yahuwah and serve him in truth with all your heart. For consider at how great things he has done for you. But... If ye shall still do wickedly, ye shall be consumed, both ye and your king.